All right, so let's solve the following problem, or prove that the left identity is equal to the right identity. So first off, we can just distribute here. But actually what I'll do first here is I'll break this down to simplest components. So cosine squared x over sine squared x. All right, so distribute the sine. So we get sine x plus sine x cosine squared x over sine x. Sine x cancels out, and we're left with sine x plus, you know what, I'm sorry, let's back up. In order to make this work, All right, so let's get rid of one sine x here. So, okay, <laughs> back where I was started. Plus so, um, cosine squared x over sine x. And then if we get a common denominator, we end up with sine squared x plus cosine squared x all over sine x. So this is a trig identity, it's equal to one. So we get one over sine x. And that's the same thing as cosecant x, which is the right side of the equation. All right, I hope that helped you out. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.